Hey guys, it's Mitch Welborn23. I'm here with some Rust gameplay from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the original Rust map. Um, it's just some private match gameplay. I wanted to run around the map, let you guys get a feel for the map, because in later in this video we're going to be talking about the remade map in Infinite Warfare, Excess. It's supposed to be a Rust remake. And I have my opinions on it. I'll express those here shortly once we get out of the Rust gameplay. But, um, anyways, I'll tell you all a little bit about the map. I mean, it's square. It's small. Um, everybody loved playing, you know, free-for-all on it. Or this, is, this was the 1v1 spot. This is where everybody went to snipe and do their trick shots off the top. And a lot of montages came from this. Um, other than that, it was a real small map. Uh, there's nothing really else to say about it. Uh, you could stand in one corner and, you know, snipe a guy from another side or just blankly shoot. I mean, you could you could spawn on one side and look at another guy spawning on the other side. It was that, you know, it was that open. And that will lead me into the Infinite Warfare side of it. And that's, a, that's, an, that's kind of a complaint I have about it. It's not really open on the Infinite Warfare side. And, I mean, I'm trying to hold back from talking about that as of right now. But it's kind of hard to because it's just, this was such a nostalgic map, such a good map, such a very remembered map. And I want to, I mean, I want to say, I'm kind of disappointed in the map. But anyways, guys, I'm going to catch you all on the Infinite Warfare side of things, give you all my opinions and express my feelings towards it. And I'll catch you all here in just a second. Hello again, guys. Here we are on the Infinite Warfare side of things. This is the map Exus on Infinite Warfare and we're looking at it right now and it looks totally different from Rust from Modern Warfare 2 it's unlike it's got the same lane somewhat but it is really different I mean I do pretty well in this gameplay it plays somewhat similar but it's just so much bigger I'm going to go ahead and get the negatives out of the way. It's a lot bigger. And by a lot bigger, I mean a ton bigger. It seems like it takes... Like, you can see that building ahead of me that with that H on it. The... Uh, what's it called? The hail? Okay. It, it takes like... It took like eight seconds to get from side to side. In the original Rust, it only would take like four seconds. It's like... It's like they took the Rust and made it twice the size and that's my biggest down like my biggest uh disappointment with it is that it's so small and my second one i have about three my second one is that um it's so crowded they got buildings upon buildings upon buildings and blocks and and it wasn't like that in the original. I mean, there's buildings here, buildings there, little statues here, this and that, little tiny walls. It's like, why are there so many walls? I mean, I understand that you need to have walls because you got boost jumping and all that. But, jeez almighty, you got 20 walls in a spot where there wasn't a single wall. That's what made Rust so great. You basically took the main part of Rust and just destroyed it. I... I I don't get what they were thinking about it right there because they just completely destroyed that aspect of it. And then the third part I don't like is Rust was in like the desert. It was kind of a sandy map, you know, obviously. And in excess, we're a thousand stories in the air. You can actually fall off the map and plummet to the earth. It's like, what in the world? Um, I don't really like that because... What they've done, instead of making it daytime and bright, because good night, we all know Infinite Warfare can't be bright, um, they make it at night. They make it like at a, kind of like a, like a dusk or a dawn. Or, it, it's, it's very dark, but it's, it's kind of like at the same time. So, it, why couldn't they adjust, I mean, this is space, for goodness sakes. Why couldn't they just put it on Mars and made it, you know, like a desert? I, I don't get it. I don't know why they didn't do something along those lines. But, in those regards, that's all the disappointments out of the way. Now let's talk about some of the positives. Now with this uh, map pack uh, con continuum, I guess you could call it, um, the four maps that came out with it, I do got to give them props. There's uh, two maps, the Teresa one and uh, this one I really like. And 
I know that's just kind of funny. I was giving all those bad things I don't like about it, But I like it as a new map. I don't like it as a remake. If I compare it as a remake, if I compare Exodus to Rust, I, I don't like it. If I compare this as a, if I look at the point of view of this being a new map, yeah, I like it. Um, why? Because all the maps in Infinite Warfare are all dull. This has a little, you know, vibrant to it. It has vibrant colors here and there. It's it's kind of bright, at least in my opinion. Um, that Teresa, man, it's bright, it's light, it's daytime. And for some reason, it seems like almost every map in this game is based on the moon. So why in the world do they think we want another moon map? They they sent a third moon map. I, can't, I couldn't even, I don't even care to remember the name of that map. But... It's like I feel like I'm playing on the moon. They could have they could have called this Call of Duty Moon Warfare, you know, because we're on the moon so much. It's unreal. Um, and uh, another good thing is I, I the funny thing is I haven't played Infinite Warfare in probably several months. And the reason why is because I've been going back and playing Black Ops 3, obviously, because that's what I've been uploading here recently. Um, but I figured, okay, Continuum's coming out. Let's let's give Infinite Warfare a, a second round. So I hopped in, and uh, for some reason it was just like coming to me. Like it, it, it felt good to play this game. I don't know why it felt new. It felt refreshed. Um, I don't know if you know it's like some fine wine. You know, it gets better as it ages. But we're almost through the end of the life cycle for the year life cycle of this game, and it's just now to the point where I'm like kind of getting a little interested in playing it. I mean, I'd say it's not my favorite game by far, but it's getting a little interesting. If they keep bringing out maps like the Terista and this, it could get more interesting for me. The more vibrant color maps and the more bright maps they bring, the better it will be for me, and I'm sure a lot of other people too. Um, but guys, this video is coming to an end. I hope you all enjoyed my little rant, my little preview of the excess map and the rust map if y'all did please hit that like button comment down below and i'll uh, catch y'all on the next one see ya